whenever you feel I, I is I am. Trying to be the I am is a thought arising in I am. Keep it simple. I is I am. I is not the person. The person is itself uh, a modification of I am. And mostly a distortion of I am. Oh. The I amness is synonymous with consciousness or being. It gets apparently um, transmuted into being a person simply by identifying with the body mind and then experiences itself as though it is the body mind. It imagines itself to be a separate person because the bodies are different. Finish. It identifies with the body and uh, the uniqueness of the elemental construction of each body and then take itself to be that unique body. Yes. It's a modification. But this modification is only apparent, only taking place in the mind. Yes. It is the mind that is seeing the world. The mind arises as I, but this I is called the I concept or the I me, the oh. personality. And this I personality is perceived in the I self. The natural state of I is I am. It itself is like space. It is immaterial, immaterial being. But it has the capacity or some capacity arises in this immaterial being to identify with the body which is the instrument through which it can taste experiencing and this identification with the body arises as me personality which is a limitation in the beingness itself but it simply happens who can escape it even Krishna and Buddha they did not escape it they also were conditioned initially and then they realized the conditioning that was not themselves and realized that they were the I amness observer and not that which was being observed. And the response to that recognition was that they couldn't stop laughing. They said, look at this. I was looking like this and it was like this. I was looking through here and then I was looking through this. Something incredible. You think that you are, uh, you think and behave as though you are a unit of consciousness with separate will to make separate decision but that is the way in which consciousness is expressing as though it has separate will Como as an individual this is not easy thing to understand is it don't worry about it you say that you have uh, some uh, a burden some agony is coming but it must be if there's some agony it's coming for your person and not for your beingness if you're only the observer the agony will be seen as just a, a sensation occurring for an apparent self that you appear to be but you are not.